What's up, everybody? It's time for some real degenerate ripping hours. And I've got right here Romance Dawn One Piece card game, card game booster packs from the anime One Piece, which now has a massive following. And they have their first United States English release of their card game. So I had to rip it because people are going crazy for this stuff. Just absolutely insane. My friend Josh, who's an expert on cards and trading cards, all that stuff. He told me this was his favorite product in years. So when he says that, I know I got to pick this up. And um, so I've never actually watched the anime. I, I've heard of it before. Oh, God, I'm already botching this. I've heard of it before. What is wrong with me? This is a weird pack to open. They have the little uh, slit that lets you rip it from the top. Okay, well, here we go. Man, that's embarrassing. We get a red card on the back. So I've never watched the show. People love it. People absolutely adore the show. It's a bit hard to get into now because there's like a thousand episodes. It's beautiful artwork. We'll give them that. I like how there's this uh, card here that's like a com more of a comic book more of the manga, but yeah, so I never got into this, I've always wanted to, there's Trafalgar Law, I think this is one of the nice cards, and we get a gold, I don't even know, uh, we get a gold gum gum fire fist pistol red hawk, it is gold, so I would think that means it's good, and I will be doing the comps at the end, just people are going to get very frustrated because I really have almost no idea what I'm looking for. But I'm guessing a gold. Uh, we'll, we'll just use context clues. I'll open these other packs and we'll just see, like, if I'm getting if I'm getting a lot of golds, then I'll know it's not rare. But, yeah, I never got into it. I do like anime. I do like anime. I love, like, like uh, Neon Genesis. Um, you, know, you know which one I love? Space Dandy. I love Space Dandy. He always cracked me up because I grew up, I love Johnny Bravo. He reminds me of Johnny Bravo. Love Space Dandy. Um, my favorite all time, probably uh, Welcome to the NHK, if you guys have ever seen that. I love that anime. Look at these cards. They feel nice. Beautiful texture. They are really cool cards, even if I've never watched the anime. And I said to my friend Josh, I was like, will I still enjoy these if I never watched the anime? He's like, yep. And I thought to myself, I have... Uh, Two hundred dollar Julio Rodriguez card, and I've never, I've never watched him play before in my life. We get Monkey, Monkey D. Luffy, and over it. So I guess yeah, the gold border isn't as rare as I thought, but I know that this is a good card, Monkey D. Luffy, full art card. I don't know, but I know this is a good card, especially because there he is on the cover there. And um, so, yeah, I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. The Monkey D. Luffy, I think, was a big hit. Maybe not the biggest hit, but I know it's a good one. So let's keep it moving here. Um, you want, uh, let's think of some other animes I like. I really liked uh, Fooly Cooly. Great show. Love Fooly Cooly. Love the music, the, the aesthetic, the vibes. Uh, let's see what else we got. You can be my samurai, like that. Sai, Penguin, Neo Kamashi, Mamamushi, Fu Fukurokuju, Sasaki. These are, I mean, the cards, the texture, the artwork. It's just some really beautiful looking cards. Demon Face. We get X Drake and Dracul Mihawk. That is just, a, it's just sick. Like, these are some really cool cards. Some really cool cards. My friend Josh, right on the money. And I know One Piece is big, because my friend Leighton was like, you know, One Piece cards, I gotta watch that. One Piece is my favorite anime. And we get this Dracul Mihawk, the Seven Warlords of the Sea. Very cool. Very cool. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a longer video. I've got, let's see how many more. I, I got, like, 15 more of these. My friend Josh was like, this this stuff is so good. If you don't grab it, someone else will. you got to take it all. So I took what was left. 
wanted to get a video of this. I uh, hope we get some big hits. We maybe already have, but at the end, I always like to um, I always like to do the comps. I'll look up the comps. I'm sure a lot of people watching this maybe don't watch my sports card stuff. But I always look up the comps at the end to see if I made my money back. I spent like $100 here on, on these packs. So see if I made my money back. There's another Sasaki. He might be my favorite. He's like a human Snorlax. Paradise Waterfall Okiku. We have another Monkey D. Luffy. That's number two for the Monkey D. Luffies. Maybe not as uh, uncommon as I had thought. But still, yeah, cool. Get a second one. And also, yeah, this other Okiku somehow got over there. Let's keep it going. So I'm getting more of the hang of opening these packs. A bit different than what I'm used to. But I do like how they leave the best cards in the back, unlike Pokemon, where it gets confusing how many cards you throw to the, to the back and pull out. Shachi, Atsuru, Jinbi... Mr. Tuban, Don Quixote do Flamingo, and another X Drake and a Your Turn. But Don Quixote, based on the book, Don Quixote, Quixote, I've always been wanting to read that book. People tell me it's one of the greatest books ever written. I do want to read it. So let's put him up there because that looks really cool. Don Quixote do Flamingo. Keep it going. I think that's a big hit, honestly. I think I think that's also one of the bigger hits. I did try to study up and watch a video and see like what cards are really good. And I know Don that Don Quixote is pretty good card. So, but anyway, we don't we don't got much time to sit around and waste. Let's do this Cavendish. Officer Agents. I know it's a good hit, but, like, I have no idea, really, what these cards go for. Like, I know the people love the packs. Like, people are going crazy with this stuff. Some Monkey Diluffy. Sanji. And another X-Drake. I guess, yeah, there's different artworks for these. Sanji. And X-Drake. And I wonder if, um... Cards that are like half and half colors, if they're more rare, I, I I don't know. I should have definitely done more homework before opening this stuff instead of looking like a moron. But um, it wouldn't be the first time I looked like a moron on this channel opening stuff and getting a hit and then just like passing over it, not realizing. I, I must have opened like... 100 Tops products before I even knew what a short print was or that they even existed or what or how to even spot one. So I'm going to move those sleeves out of the way. Hayagoro, Mocha, Roundtable, Gene Bart, Kanjuro, that's pretty creepy. Ulti Mortar, Izo, Kiyoshiru, another X Drake, and we have a Kaido. Kaido, I gotta say, they really are some beautiful cards. Like, on the level of Pokemon artwork. Beautiful set. I'm looking forward to ripping the rest of this. And uh, in the future, any other sets of this that come out. There's Kaido. Very neat. Put him over to the side. About halfway. Had, I think, 19 packs of these. GameStop's got them. If you guys still have GameStops, GameStop is carrying this stuff. Mocha, Roundtable, Kurozumi Kuro, Higurashi, Kanjuru, Baba Nuki. Some really cool cards. Look at that. The Desert Spada. Dan Jiro. Pretty cool. Another Don Quixote. Flamingo. So I guess maybe... Some of these aren't as rare as I would have hoped. Maybe there's alt arts. Maybe you gotta, yeah, you gotta pull the alt arts. But you know what? Since the Don Quixote's maybe not as rare, swap this one out for Kaido. Because that's, that's, I think, my favorite card so far. It's that Kaido. Oops. So, uh, yes. We keep it moving here. 
And it's so difficult to have a 10 minute video and fill the dead air when I've never even watched the anime. Like I have no idea what to talk about with this stuff. Just admire the artwork, really. Monet, beautiful. Bambanaki penguin. But I will say there's something very interesting culturally going on in America. If you ever go to a Barnes and Noble, ooh, what is this? We got Eustace, Captain, Kid, and a Your Turn. Eustace, Captain, Kid, very nice. And I gotta say the centering and quality control on these cards are amazing. I haven't seen any like um, really bad centering or any type of dimples in the cards. Again, I open Panini products, so I just feel like every card is terrible in terms of quality control. So any like little sign of good quality control catches me off guard. Elephant Marchu. But yeah, as I was saying, you go to Barnes & Noble these days, or any bookstore really, you'll notice nobody is reading the new American releases. The most busy section of the bookstores is the manga section. Like... And you go around the mall. Ooh, we get a Shanks. Oh no, is this a big card or what? Is this a really big card or something? Because this was number one on the list. So I think this is a big card. I think this is a big card. I'm a little scared to look up the comps for these because I have no idea. But I heard Shanks is the guy to pull. I heard Shanks is the guy to pull. And I love how his uh, health at the top or whatever is a round number like that. Just like 10,000. So I think Shanks is good. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Shanks is a good hit. Pretty sure we just made out really well. And we're going to make our money back. I feel like when I open Pokemon and I see cool cards. And then I look up the comps and it's only like $2. But I feel like I just pulled that card and it's a big one. So we'll keep it moving here. I mean, I'm all excited. I want to get to the comps. There's Beepo, Miss All Sunday, and Your Turn. There was one Your Turn card that didn't look like all these other ones. Where is it? This one. Maybe this one's worth something. Should probably have sleeved this. But it's a Your Turn. And we'll sleeve that up. All right. We continue our journey. Where I just look like an idiot and I get these cards and I just don't know if they're what they're worth. I really feel like I'm just uh, I'm doing a big science project in front of the class right now, and I'm just winging it, trying to trying to seem like I'm smart and know what I'm talking about. But like everyone in the class might be into it, but the teachers, the people that really watch One Punch, they're just like they're they're looking at me, just like, dude, what are you talking about? So finally, I, this is a card that the centering is off. I might have jinxed it, but only one card so far where it's noticeably bad. That's still really good. So, very cool looking card. We sleeve it anyway. I'm very impressed with quality control on this stuff, with the artwork, everything. It's it's sick. I uh, really happy. All right, keep it moving here. Cavendish, hold them. I could start just sort of degen ripping and going through now. I feel like we've seen a lot of stuff. Crocodile, Queen, and Queen is hideous. That's pretty funny. There's Queen, a morbidly obese guy with a Hulk Hogan beard or mustache. Nico Robin. And we keep it moving. We got about, let me see, we got five packs left after this. What do we see? That's pretty cool. Radical Beam, Monkey D. Luffy, Miss All Sunday, and Black Maria. So, man, I'm blown away by the Shanks card. I could just tell that there's something really good about that card. And I'm... I'm I just want to get through this and get to the comps already. I can't wait. But we got a, we got another full art card. It is King. The King. We got a King. Sleeve it up. The 
King, beautiful, cool looking card. Like all these other like cartoony anime looking people, and this looks like something straight out of out of Skyrim or, or an Elder Scrolls game. Really cool. So yeah, I gotta say, get go get some of these if you could find them. Apparently they're in very high demand and they're hard to get. I I got them right at a restock, and someone was someone else was there looking for them, and we split it. And uh, he was telling me he just loves it. He's opened a booster box. It's one of the best things he's ever ripped. So everyone has good things to say about this. Ooh, we get. I just love seeing that shininess on the left. Like you just know it's another good card. And we have Roranoa Zoro. These cards blow me away. I know this is another big card. This is one of the top hits, too, I believe. Very nice. Roranoa Zoro. Just samurai classic. He's got three swords. He's got that scar going down his, his chest. Just a bad, bad dude. Bad mamma jamma. I was about to say the other bad word that would get me demonetized, but you guys know what I mean. We got two packs left. I know we got some big hits. I know we did well. But let's just get through this and then we can make sure I get the eBay comps. Don Quixote again, all blue. I wonder if that's like, because I know some of them aren't like hollow, but they look really cool. Like this is all blue. I haven't seen an all blue card yet like this. So maybe it's worth something. I'll put it over here. And this is last pack. And then we have some fun with the comps. Let's do it. Last pack here. Another, so maybe it's not as rare as I thought. Page one and Usopp. And that will do it for One Punch Romance Dawn. Some really sick looking cards. Um, get these out of the way. Let's kept you guys here long enough long video but uh, we can go over the hits at least the cards I thought were the hits like the full art cards and um, so yeah your turn monkey to Luffy Kaido King Thunder Monkey to Luffy Captain Kid the Don Quixote's and then just random cards I sleeved without knowing much about them and then, of course, Shanks. Bam. There you have it, everybody. Thanks for sticking along. If you did, excuse my ignorance on One Piece, but that was a lot of fun. These cards rock. Go get some. Take care, everybody.